I am getting into the Christmas spirit, so I thought it'd be fun to draw something festive. I want to go for something reasonably simple today. I'm going to show you how to draw this Christmas bow. Now I'll be drawing this with graphite pencil and this is a really nice thing to draw because it's got really great contrast. It also comes together really quickly which is always satisfying. Now before we start drawing, if you want to go through this with me in full detail, it is available on my Patreon. I have a huge variety of tutorials on here, including quite a few Christmassy ones. Every tutorial includes really detailed instructions, the reference photo, sketch outlines and details of all of the materials I'll be using. And I use not only graphite pencil, but I've also got colour pencil tutorials and pastel pencil tutorials check out the link in the description. So let's start drawing this bow and I want to work through my usual steps. Now I've already mapped out a very light sketch and then from here what I want to do is start with some of the harder graphite pencils that I've got and gradually work my way towards some of the softer graphite pencils. So I'm starting this with a 2H pencil and all I'm going to do is block in all of the lighter areas of the bow. I'm not worrying about marking in any of the shines on this area of the bow, for example. All I'm wanting to do is get a nice, smooth, even coverage on all of these areas. Now, there are a few things that I can do to help myself to get smooth, even coverage. First up, I want to be pressing very lightly with the pencil. So to help me do this, I'm holding the pencil much further back than you would imagine. You'll see here that I'm holding it about halfway down the pencil. That literally stops me from being able to press too hard. I'm also working in circular motion, so rather than sort of going back and forth with the pencil, I'm working in these large circular or almost oval motions, which again helps the pencil go down as smooth as possible. Now the last thing that I'm doing that really helps make this step so much easier is having a nice and sharp pencil. It's just far easier to control what the pencil's doing and where it's going if I make sure that I keep it sharp. And because this is one of the harder pencils, because this is the 2H pencil, it's much easier to keep it sharp. Something like a softer pencil, like a 5B for example, just wears down a lot faster, you have to sharpen it more often. So once I've worked over all of the bow and I've blocked in all of these lighter areas, I'm going to move on to a slightly softer pencil. So I'm going from a 2H pencil to a HB pencil here. And I'm doing very similar to what I did before. I'm once again wanting to lightly shade over all of the light areas of the bow. I don't want to go over the really dark areas. I'm just avoiding with this pencil the absolute lightest areas. So for example, on this first section here, there's a very light strip going down the sort of left-hand middle. And the same on this section, again on the left-hand middle side, there's a very, very light patch. If I can leave that so that you're just seeing the 2H pencil and shade in the rest of the section of the bow, this is where I'm beginning to mark out the lights and darks. And I'm gonna work my way around all of these sections once again, shading in the whole section except for that light patch. I am doing this in exactly the same way as I did before though. You'll notice that I'm still holding the pencil reasonably far back. I'm still making sure it's nice and sharp and I'm still making sure that I'm working in these little circular motions. So once I've gone over the whole of the bow with these first two pencils, I have something that looks like this. It's looking reasonably smooth, maybe a little bit scribbly. And I've got no pencil down on the absolute darkest areas, but that's okay. Now what I want to do here is really smooth out completely what I've got. So what I want to be doing is blending this. Now when I blend, I like to take a piece of tissue and just wrap it around my finger like this. And then I can use my finger to blend. Now notice that I am blending in circular motions. Again, this helps to get the pencil that's on the paper as smooth as possible. And I'm not applying loads of pressure here. I am pressing very, very lightly, just going over the area with these circular motions. If I find that it's starting to look a little bit too smudgy, then I will rewrap the tissue in a different place so that I've got a fresh section. And if I feel like it needs more blending than I'm getting, then I'll just go over the area more times. So once it's blended, it looks like this. 
From here, I want to move on to my next softest pencil. So this is the 3B pencil. And now I'm particularly focusing on those mid-tone and dark areas. Now this bow is quite good in that it's very nicely split into sections. So I can work on one area at a time. So I'm really focusing to start with on this first triangle. And I am still doing the same thing. So once again, pressing lightly, holding it further back, working in these circular motions. But because it's a softer pencil, the pencil looks darker. So I can kind of avoid the lighter sections that I drew in with the previous two pencils and really focus on the areas around these sections. And I'm basically just drawing stripes where I am following the reference photo. I am very closely following the reference photo here. I really want this to look as realistic as possible, which means I want to make sure that it's got a really nice and realistic shine to it. So once I've gone over all of these sections, I also want to be making sure that I'm putting down some sort of pencil on the very darkest areas. So at the moment I've got absolutely nothing in between all of these shapes. I'm literally just going to go around and block in this pencil in these darker areas. Now as I say I'm still working in the same way trying to make this as smooth as I can and by the time that I've gone over all of these areas as well it is looking reasonably like a bow maybe a little bit too scratchy and not quite enough contrast though. So what I want to do at this point is once again blend it and I'm doing this in exactly the same way as I did before blending with a tissue blending in circular motions it's going to end up making the whole thing look pretty fuzzy but that's fine. What we have have is a very smooth but very clear template to add in the final touches make everything look much more detailed. Now you may notice that because I blended this a lot of my absolute lightest areas have kind of been lost. So what I'm doing here is going back in with a putty eraser and adding those very very lightest areas back in. Now what's good about a putty eraser is that I can mold the end of the eraser into a point and then I can create very accurate lines. So some of the areas of light on here are reasonably subtle and some are some pretty firm lines I would say. So I can start off by adding in those firmer lines and then once I'm happy that I've got all of these sharper light patches in, there are also a few other areas that I just want to lighten up a little bit. And I can just use my eraser a little bit differently. I can just lightly dab it on the paper to just lift a little bit of the graphite rather than kind of going in a back and forth motion to add a line. So once I've gone through and added all of those light patches back in, it's at this point that I want to think about making the dark areas as dark as possible. Now you could use a 5B pencil to do this. I'm actually using a black polychromos pencil. This is a colored pencil. I find that the black polychromos goes really nicely over the top of graphite. It also, in a different way to graphite, because it's a matte pencil, it means that it looks darker, particularly for me on camera. This looks much darker than a 5B pencil would. And I'm pretty much just going over all of the same areas that I did with the 3B pencil. So starting off by going over the absolute darkest areas, so the areas between all of these shapes. And then from here I want to lightly go over some of the more mid-tone and darker areas on these folded sections as well. And the only thing to bear in mind if you do use polychromos pencil instead of a 5B pencil is that you won't be able to blend this. You wouldn't want to blend the 5B anyway because you'd end up losing those areas of light that you've just put back in. But it is at least an option with the 5B pencil. The polychromos just won't blend in the same way. So once I've gone over the whole thing with the polychromos pencil and really made some of those darker areas as dark as in the reference photo, that is it. So I find that this is a really nice, simple Christmassy drawing. Now don't forget, if you do want to draw some other Christmassy drawings with me, they are available on my Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing another Christmas drawing shortly. As always, happy drawing guys and I'll see you in the next one.